Mmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome to Turn 1, the new Arkham Horror. This is one I'm playing with all the extra junk, so I've got all the cards. We're still playing the base game only, but uh, it's got a lot more stuff going on. It. Like, we're playing with relationships, we're playing with, uh, you know, personal stories, we're playing with the uh, extra mythos cards, all the decks, so lots of stuff going on. But you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the Doom token on last game, so that I've just placed it there uh, last turn during the setup. And let's get into this. Starting with... I can never pronounce this name properly. Like, it just I just cannot read it. I mean, I can read, apparently, but I'm almost illiterate. So it's like Angus, Ag Agnes, Agnes. It's Agnes. Okay, righto. Let's get into this. So, she's up here. Now, one of the things you've got to be really careful is Schizo Tools' little personal story. If there's ever than, fewer than three on the board, then he fails. And by on the board, we, it means the Arkham board. Yeah, so we've got, to, we've got to be careful with our clue hoovering. Now, we have two here because a, a clue appeared at the science building. So, there's two here. So, we're going to leave that one for him. So he has to get from Mars boarding house to here. That's going to give him two. And that'll really speed things up. And hopefully there'll be another two for him. We've just got to be careful because normally I like to spend the first turn or whatever just hoovering up every clue I can see. But I don't want him to fail this, uh, this thing. But that being said, I'm still going to go one, two into the roadhouse and grab this clue. Where is she? Here we are. It takes it a four. And we're also going to do the illuminated manuscript, which is exhaust and spend law minus one. That's five law die. We should be able to do this because you've got six law. Oh, it's a fail. And we actually needed to put her speed up by one to do that. Can't believe we failed that. Uh, if you fail, nothing happens. We're actually going to discard this for a skill. We want to get some kind of plus uh, spell skill for her. Now, skids, we want to get clues, right? But he's also already at Mars Boarding House, which is where he needs to go for that, uh, you know, that, that task. So I think I'm just going to stay here one turn at Mars boarding house and uh, just complete the first stage of that. I'll leave everything else the same. William Yorick, he needs to be blessed for his thing. He's already got three monster trophies, so he just wants to do some monster hunting. We've got to be, got to get on top of our monsters. There is no, there's a couple of monsters here. Okay, whatevs, man. Uh, Yorick is who we're talking about, aren't we? So I think he's going to go to the Historical Society. That's two. Suck up that clue. We'll leave all that the same. Rita, she gets two bucks to start with. Oops. Perhaps if I turn on my numlock. So she gets two bucks. And then she rolls one dice. Anything but a one, please. Beautiful. Now, she has the under grips or whatever. So that's a will minus two check. So that is five movement. And remember, if we move over three, we lose a stamina because it's like a super heat wave. So let's go one, two, three, two... Well, let's let's do the let's do this first. Uh, yeah, I might as well. One, two, three. Cut, cut, clue. And undiscovered manuscripts is exhaust and spend two movement. So that's five movement left, and then do a will minus two check. So we're going to use one of her focus to put her will up by one. That's two dice. She has plus one will, so that is three dice. Uh, yeah, two clue tokens, that'd be nice. B 
Beautiful. So she gets another two clue tokens. That gives her five clue tokens so she can now close a date. Nice. Uh, just one little thing. I forgot that this uh, understudy scripts thing needs to be discarded after it's uh, successfully read. So that's gone. Okay. What are we doing with her? She's going to go one, two, three, four to the curiosity shop. So that needs four movement. She's also got this. That gives her five movement. Spend two, spend two. Okay, that doesn't really help. But before she does that, she's going to take all this guy's money. She's also going to give him the silver key and enchant magical weapon. I think she's going to take implant suggestion. And because she's gone one, two, three, four, she actually loses one sanity, uh, one stamina. Unfortunately, we can't produce enough movement to cast any of her, any of her tomes. But that's the breaks. So there we are. Okay, George, he gets two bucks as well. And then he rolls one die. Anything but a one, please, mate. Come on, no ones. No ones? Beautiful. Now, he is going to leave the clues at the science building. Instead, he's going to go one, two, three to the unnameable. And grab that clue. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember what kind of tests we have at the unnameable. So I'm just going to leave his stuff the way it is and hope that works out. Michael Glenn is going to go one, two, three into the woods. Now the woods has tons of sneak. So there's in the woods is where the Sheldon gang hangs out, right? So they've got all those, their hideouts and like, you know, boot liquor. What do they call it? You know, during the probation area. I forgot what they called those liquor farms. Whatever the point is, there's all these crooks in there. So there's heaps of sneak tests. The majority of woods encounters are sneak or fight. So uh, we keep his... Probably don't need his will so high, right? So let's, let's start moving his fight up. A little bit. He only has one focus, so it's really hard for him to change. Whatever. The point is, he is at the woods, and he's moved, and he's got his clue, and it's now her turn. Now, oh, I forgot to do this, didn't I? So, we're playing a seven to eight, so we have five gates to lose, we have zero in the outskirts, and we have eleven monster limit. We've got to be really, really full on with our monster hunting. Okay, so she's at the magic shop. Now, normally, I would just go hoover up a clue. The thing is, she can't really go anywhere because she can only move in three points. So, I think I might just stay at the magic shop and see if she can get a free spell. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stay at the magic shop for one turn. And that's it. That's the whole turn. Okay, so let's uh, let's do the the events. She's at Hibbs Roadhouse. A stranger buys you a drink. You may search the common item for the whiskey card. Thank you very much. Beautiful. More like that, please. Mars boarding house for skids. Joey the rat waves to you from the side of the house. I've got some information you might be interested in. Only $4. You may pay $4 to gain two clues. Hey, you know, info like this don't come cheap. He has five bucks, so he is actually going to do that. Bammo. So he gets two clues. And he gets two clues on here. Each time he gains a clue, put a clue token from the supply on this card. So we're almost there. So next turn... He's going to go one, two, three, 
then one, two, three. So hopefully, if, as long as the Silver Twilight, I mean, as long as there's Witch House and Silver Twilight. So basically, if either of these stay and this stay, he'll get that in two turns. That's excellent. Okay, Yorick. He's at the Historical Society. You attempt to get some first-hand accounts of the Arkham history from some of the older members of the Society. Make a luck minus one check. This is something that I, I talk about all the time, but it's so true. Heaps of events use luck. So it's like the forgotten ability, like because it, it doesn't affect your combat or it doesn't affect, affect gate openings. You know, the, there's not a lot of direct uses for it. But luck is still one of the best skills. I always keep luck maxed out unless I have a reason not to, basically. And here's a good reason why. If you pass, you're able to glean several vital facts from their stories, gain one clue. Whether you fail or not, stay here next turn. So we have a luck of four, so that's a three die. Nothing here helps. We get a success, so we gain one clue, did it say? Yep, and we are delayed, which sucks. Yonk. Okay, she is at the Independent Square, Yablamo. You touch Founder's Rock. Make a luck minus one check. Okay, we have zero luck. Ah, oh, I had her law high so she could do this, but it's actually will we check. I completely screwed this old turn up for her, didn't I? Did I not? I don't know what's happening here. I thought it was, uh, ugh, giving her two clues as well. What have I done here? I can't remember whether I did that correctly. No, I did, because she's got three dice set to her roll, and will minus two plus one. Yeah, no, I did that correctly. So I don't have any luck, which sucks. If you pass as an electrifying shop that opens your mind to the older things of Eon's past, lose one stamina, but gain two clues, and draw a spell. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to spend... I'm going to spend a clue. If we fail, a gate opens, which will add a doom token. So I'm going to spend a clue. Let's go for this. Come on. You can do this. Boom, boom. Yeah, boo. Yes. Now that's what I'm talking about. Bam. So we gain uh, two clues and a spell. And a spell. Beautiful. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. This is Arkham Horror, baby. If you're not going to take risky rolls, you're playing the wrong game, man. <laughs> Exciting. Okay, let's go. Three. One, two, three, because she's at the Curiosity Shoppy. Okay. Oh, another tome. While the investigator has the fire of Asher Banal, Ash Banipal, Asher Banipal. <laughs> I hate fantasy names. I can never pronounce I can barely pronounce real names. In his possession, the maximum number of gates can be opened at once before the Asian one awakes is increased by one. That is awesome. Ancient tablet. Spend three movement points and discard. Roll two dice. For every success, roll. Draw one spell. For every failure, draw two clues. That is also awesome. And the book is also awesome because you don't have any... All those are awesome. The thing is, the book gives us one spell... This one gives us a spell, and this one gives us any spell we want. I think I might just take... I might take this. It just gives us a little bit of extra time. Why not? So that is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The Ablamo. I'll put this up here. Okay, this bloke is at the unnameable. The house suddenly fills with terrible wails and screams. Lose a sanity. Oops. Lose a sanity. Horrible. He's at the woods. Bet you this is a snake. 
It is a sneak. There you go. See, Woods, almost every test is sneak or combat, and most of them are sneak. So just make sure you always have sneak when you go to the Woods. You have stumbled onto the still owned by the Sheldon Gang. Make a sneak minus one check. If you pass, skulk away without being seen. If you fail, lose two stamina as the Sheldon Gang works you over while escorting you from the woods. Either way, move to the street. So sneak minus one is uh, two die. Your blammo. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, so that's a fail. But we have this thing here. Any phase, exhaust instead of spending a clue token. So let's just use that. Get to roll one more die. Come on. You can do it. Ugh. Uh, lose two stamina. Boo. Okay, she's at the magic shop. Give us something awesome. Pass a law minus one check. Recognize an item that Miriam Breacher has underpriced. If you do so, draw one unique item. You may purchase it for half its list price, round it up. Fortunately, we only have $3, so it's very likely this is going to be a waste of time. So that's four dice. There are actually a lot of cheap most, 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 uh, oh, wow, look at that. Five successes, most of them sixes. Imagine if you had the shotgun. That'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Awesome. Okay, so we passed with flying colors. And there, there you go. Really good spell. Eight to buy. We've only got three. So that is no luck. Okay, and that is the end of that. Let's draw the next mythos, the Blamo, the Unnameable, which is where our guy is. That's fantastic. He gets two monsters. He is drawn through the gate to the great city of the great race, the Blamo. And it makes him delayed. We get another Doomio. We have a clue appear at the woods. And oh, I have to do the movement first. So hexagons move. Uh, the night gaunt moves into the sky. Diamond, uh, triangles and stars. We don't have anything else. All investigators currently lost in time and space. I mean, well, no one's lost in time and space. Missing people return. Okay, so that wasn't a it wasn't a bad turn. Not a great turn. Really should have. Well, I guess he got two clues, didn't he? So that's pretty good. I was just thinking. I'm just worried about losing all my clues. One, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. So I think Skids is going to get his due. We've got to do some monster hunting next turn. Who's up there? Oh, this guy's in the outer world now. He's only got one clue as well. That sucks. Okay, well, that is the end of that turn. I'm not too happy with that turn. I think we, uh, we did all right, I guess. Anyway, I will see you guys next time oh you know what we're you know why actually you know why that turn was good because rita managed to roll a success of a single die uh did i spend a clue to do that didn't i have to spend a clue for that luck minus one check yeah so she started with two clues how did she get six yeah so she started with two clues she then got a clue. She got two clues from here, so that gave her four. She picked up one from here, that's five. And then she picked up two clues from there, that's six, seven, minus one is six, okay. No, I know what I'm doing, whatever. 
Okay, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>